So I'm going to minimize these two. And inside here, I'm going to say an end is crouching equals equals to false. All right. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to minimize this if statement. And I'm going to put that inside there also. Oh, get rid of the semicolon, sorry. Both of those. There you go. Right, what I want you to do is I want you to copy this function in. If statement, sorry. And scroll back up. Minimize the new one we just made. Let's change the comments to crouch end. And let's get rid of everything except for the crouching part and put this to true. So if we're crouching, we want to do something. So let's open this up. We want to get rid of... That's fine, the jump can stay, and that's okay. There we go, we want to change the animations. So let's go back into Unity, and let's see what the updated animation numbers are for those. So I'm going to open up my animation name over here. So crouch 17, 18, 19, and 20. 17, 18, 19, 20, and 16 is idle, okay? So let's go back into the script, and we're going to change this to 17. We're going to change this to 18. We're going to change this to 19. And we're going to change this to 20. I have my invert key on again. And then finally, for the idle animation, we're going to leave the run stuff in here for now. That should be fine. I'm going to change it to 16. Save this, and let's see what happens, okay? So let's just minimize this code. I don't want it to look messy. There we go. Right, so... Let's start the game and let's see what happens. So we have our character, we can walk, okay, we can pick up our objects, different animation plays. Now let's see what happens. Let me just deselect the players. That's better. So if I hold C, there you go, the crouch animation will start playing. If I let go of C, I'll go back up. And you see that little jump we used to see before? It's not noticeable now, we don't really see it, you know? So look, I can just walk. <laughs> Again, the animations are switched around for the left and right. So let's just quickly go and amend that. So I'm going to stop the game, go back into Visual Studios, and uh, let's go straight down here to 20 and 19. So this is going to be 20. So line 437, 473, sorry, and line. 455 will be 19. 485. Save it. Let's go back into Unity and let's see what happens. And that should be it. We have implemented crouch into our game. We should be able to walk up obstacles, jump on top of them, and crouch as well. It should be no problem. So let's just quickly check that out. So we're crouching down. We can walk right, left back, forward, I can jump in between when I'm crouching, okay, and hold my crouch key still, it doesn't matter, that's very good, if I'm walking and let go of C, there we go, we'll go straight into walking, brilliant stuff, I'm going to go next to the stairs, I'm going to crouch and walk upstairs, there we go, the character's walking up, alright, lovely stuff, I can jump on top of these, and hold C, and there we go. And it works perfectly. Fantastic stuff. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And always, please leave a thumbs up if you did. And I shall see you next time. The next tutorial, I'm going to quickly go through something different. As I want to change around the player's character controller quickly. As we're going to need it for when we actually implement the climbing system. So thank you so much for watching. Have a nice time.